Hey, meat buddy, how's it going? I've got a new project for you, and it has to do with food. We've got barbecue on lockdown, man, with all of these pips. Look at this. Madness. However, we don't have a spot for us to cook them anymore. We actually got rid of that because we put in your sweet little bedroom over here, meat. I know. Isn't it pretty cool? You get to sleep in a satellite. Neat. The one project that I want to try to do today is something that I've never actually done before, and I think it's going to be kind of interesting, and that is cooking in space. So, by cooking in space, we have an advantage where the food that we actually cook can drop on the ground and it won't go bad. That's what we're going to try to handle today by building ourselves a sweet little cooking station right here. Uh, the other thing I'm working on here is preparing for our next big rocket program. So I've got the petroleum engine over here. Yeah. So that's going to be fired up, and then we're going to rocket that into space here eventually later on during the week. Okay, the spot where I want to do my cooking is going to be right on over here. So we've got this gas range. We can put that down. We also have natural gas flowing in, hopefully, from all the way over here. Right, so when this thing runs, that'll actually vent some natural gas over here, which you normally go into the generators. We can tap into that in order to make some food. Uh, however, we're going to need to move all these shovels here. So let's go ahead and try to wrangle those guys up when we finally have a spot for them to go somewhere. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to move these guys from right down here up to this area right up here. And then we're going to lock them behind this king-size door right here. So that's good. So the pips will now be relocated. I'm just gonna copy this right on up here. So that way the eggs end up there. We'll also ship them up there because now we're dealing with the automated storage retrieval system down here. So, there we go. Get rid of these pips. There we go. We'll get rid of these shovels down here. Did I call them pips? I may have. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little out of it or the upload schedule is absolutely insane. I've been dealing with like a ton of insomnia recently. My days have been anywhere from 24 to 36 hours long. Ugh. And then once I finally do get to sleep, it's like 14 hours. I don't know. It's been nuts the last couple of weeks. All right, let's go ahead and reroute this power here. Actually, I don't want to deconstruct that just yet. Not until we've made it. Thank you, dupes. Now, as far as the cooking is concerned, there's really not a lot to it. I mean, we just need the micro musher, the electric grill, the gas range, you know, the normal stuff. However, the one thing that we are going to do that's a little bit different here is that we do have the auto sweeper to automatically deliver to it, which is convenient because it's right over here and... We can pretty much pick up any of the food ingredients, plop them in here, and send them over there. Ha! Okay, so the thing I don't like about what I have going on over here is the dupes tend to run all the way over here just to get to what they want. So, I think it would be better off if I moved the butcher station to the right. And you know what? Just maybe move that guy right there. That way, at least the dupes come over here, then go down, <laughs> instead of taking the long way around. And we gotta do something about these pips, man. There's just way too many of them. Sorry, pips. Oh, buddy, that's a lot. That's a lot of murderizing going on here. Mmm, but all that juicy food. All right, there we go. <laughs> a little bit better. Hey, dude, how'd you get out here? Oh, this pip's still alive. All right, how are we doing, dupes? Have we completed this? Yes, we have. All right, good deal. So now let's go over here and try to wrangle up all of these shovels. So dupes, grab a shovel and deliver it up here, please. <laughs> there we go. That's a big job. Come on, Drengar, you got it. There we go. Now they're all wrangled up. Now, let's see here. Tomorrow's a new day, and hopefully the dupes will go ahead and try to deliver them up there, please. We can also sweep this. That's going to go up there as well. And hopefully we don't go here. Hey, dude, you left the shovel right here. Come on, man. Come on. You're so close. Oh, now it's hiding. Man, these things are going to end up everywhere, aren't they? Dupes! Come on, man. All right, so I made this wall out of obsidian. That way the uh, shovels here can't actually get outside. <laughs> they don't actually become overcrowded, so you can really just stuff a whole bunch of them in there. There you go. Have fun. Okay, per your guys' request, I moved this to an airflow tile, and uh, looks like the pressure's okay. I'll keep an eye on that just to see how it works over a long period of time, but I think that worked out, so that was a good recommendation. Thank you for that. There we go. Now what do we have? 13 critters in there? Good. Delicious. And we don't have to worry about sweeping the eggs and all that stuff because that means we can go ahead and deconstruct all of that and prepare our kitchen. All right, now, like all good kitchens, they need to have some nice decor, right? We can't just have a gas range sitting there in space. That would just be boring. No, no, no. It needs to be nice. So how about the marble block? Hmm, yeah, it's made of granite. 
Clearly, that'll be nice. We'll have a clock here just to let you know, you know, how much work there is to be done and when you can stop working. Do we have room for a table? Oh, yes, we do. Beautiful. If my dupes would ever finish up this wire. Here we go. Then we can kind of get rid of some of that junk that's been laying around here. Now that is going to take natural gas. Personally, I would like to store up a little bit of extra natural gas just for that range all by itself. Hmm, 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 hmm. So, I think we're going to go ahead and just deconstruct some of these buildings right here. Just to clear off some space. And then I will take just a normal gas range over here. And I'll build that up. Can I not build it there? Yes, I can't build it. Alright, so I'm just going to build a... Okay, so I'm just going to build a normal gas reservoir. And that's going to be right over here. And what I'm going to do is just uh, have an output from this location right down here. And I'm going to have to jump it on over everything. You know how we do it. Full spaghetti. And that will flow up into this pipe, which will then flow on over here. That way I have a nice big buffer for the gas range. That way we always have some on hand. Because nothing sucks more when you go to cook and you realize, crap, we're out of gas. And then you can't do your barbecue. So we're going to avoid that situation right from the get-go here. Okay, so the gas range is down here. We're going to put the nicer one up top. Can deconstruct all of that. How is there still a shovel egg here? People, are you sweeping this thing? <clears throat> Party level nine. Thank you. We don't need this. We don't need that. We really don't need this. And what we should do here is <laughs> get rid of this ladder and replace it with a nice metal tile. Whoa, hang on. The reason I want a metal tile is because you can run faster on it, which is good. We're gonna make it out of gold, baby. Oh yeah. What are we doing down here? Ooh, madness. Uh, that's what we got going on. I want to copy these settings to those settings, get rid of this, and try not to pause the game constantly. <laughs> Deconstruct these buildings in the background, and we should be okay. The one thing I hate about this storage retrieval system <laughs> is that it just is hurting my eyeballs. Like, I'm just gonna put in wallpaper, so it's still gonna have the vacuum of space and all that stuff, but it will look a little bit better. Should we put glass or should we go full diamond? Do I have diamond? I could do ice. That would be interesting. Yeah, let's try ice. Why not? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Hey, that's kind of cool. And I don't mean it's cool because it's ice. It wasn't an intentional pun joke. It's just a nice blue. What about polluted ice? Does that look different? I feel like it's melting. Don't you? Stompy over here is just like, what am I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> You're trying, Stompy. Keep trying. There you go. So now we go to the temperature overlay. Ooh, it's nice and cool. Man, that is a lot of light bulbs right there. I'm glad we got our priorities straight. Clearly, wallpaper is more important than anything else. <laughs> Do we have polluted ice? We should have polluted ice. Oh, that's cool how the, it changes with the amount of light that's around. Oh, that's fitting. Check that out. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Bunny, we just deconstructed the power wires. Uh, yeah, we're without power dupes. You wanna build that up, please? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Disaster averted. We're good. Deconstruct buildings. We don't need those. We don't need those. And these can all be metal tiles. Beautiful. As far as other tiles here, this should definitely be a plastic tile now. And we really don't need this fire pole here because we already have one to the left of it. Okay, so if there's one thing I definitely want to get up and running, it's this guy right here that oil well which means i need to feed that water which also means that rather than doing this number here for whatever reason this liquid water is not running off to the right so it needs to do that okay so there we go we'll do that number snip this and then that should be good to go and we have a mod that allows us to use polluted water there so we should be set <laughs> the reason i need that is because <laughs> this natural gas geyser unfortunately it has gone dormant on us, and it will be dormant for the next 40 cycles. So I think I might have to go for a, on a geyser hunt here, just to make sure we have some natural gas. Mm, we do have carbon dioxide here. That's not going to do me any good. We do have hot polluted oxygen. No, it's not going to do it. That's probably a volcano. Yes, yeah, you can tell it's a volcano. You can just click on it. There's something here that I don't know what it is. So let's go up there and dig into it. Now there is a way that we can check that out if we were to just kind of use the priority system. 
I like the adventure though. Let's head on over here, see what we have. This is also a very big biome for iron. Ooh, I will take that. There's also kind of a biome right in this area that I have just no idea what's in there. It's a ton of granite. It isn't really all that hot. And there's like just nothing here. <laughs> it's just a weird biome. Like, I don't even know what it is. Maybe it's a non-biome. There is such a thing. All right. It looks like if I were to put the auto sweeper right here, I should be able to cover both stations. So we got the gas range here and then we'll have the other two up top. So that'll be the electric grill and the micro musher. They don't need quite as much decoration because they're not quite as fancy. Oh, hey, look, polluted ice is a slightly different shade of blue. All right, so I can put a little bit of a receptacle right here. Matter of fact, I could probably use a couple of these, but for right now, I think I only need one because I can just pick up cooking ingredients and shove them over here and we'd be done. And then just slap a loader down here or maybe even just a loader right up here. Yeah, that's probably it. And then I just ship it right back over here to the right. Boom. Then you have edibles over here. The power of space. Boogies! No! What have you done? All right, we'll put a large sculpting block over there. With, hmm, how about, ooh, let's try an ice block over here. See if it'll actually last. I kind of doubt it will. Because I bet it's just going to, yeah, I bet this marble tile is going to melt it. But we'll give it a try. Okay, so you can see here that we do have some new recipes, like the steamed palmero berry. That's pretty cool. We do need palmero berries, though. Which I'm kind of surprised that we don't have. Are we consuming them? Are they even an option up here? Um, we can't. Mm -hmm. All right, so clearly, ooh. So we got the Macedonia as well, which takes some nectar. Nectar, ooh. Where was that coming from? Was that from you guys? Yes, you give off nectar and floral filaments. Okay, and you consume dirt. Okay, so excellent. You need to be wrangled up. Quick, wrangle you guys. We're gonna take you. Uh, actually, sweep this guy up too. And we're gonna move you all the way up here, which means you should eat dirt, which also means you have light, which should, yes, mean you are all happy and what we should be seeing here is a little bit of poop. Floor filaments. Dude! Where's your nectar, man? What do you think I'm grooming you for? Oh my... <laughs> Look at all of these eggs. Oh man. But once we plug that in, we'll be able to ship a whole bunch of stuff over there. This also means we should be able to deliver dirt right on up over here, which is good. I want that to be automated. So let's go ahead and try to automate that a little bit. I think what I can do is use a filter for the shipping rail. So if we put a receptacle right on up over here and we run a rail right back over there, we should be able to actually go ahead and automate that just a little bit. So a conveyor filter, that's kind of a new thing again from another mod, should allow us to kind of kick out any dirt, which is good. Maybe not all dirt, but just enough of it. So in this case, only the dirt that's coming from this top area. The rest of it can go down below. So we will go over here like this. The dirt will go out to the right. The rest will go on back over here to the left. We can get rid of this conveyor rail and we're going to ship that dirt up here and then automatically feed the floor, uh, the critters up here, which should hopefully give us nectar. Okay, so here's the conveyor rail. That's already been installed. Let's take a look at this filter. It's just about to be completed. Okay, so right down here, I'm going to select dirt. So, when this thing, hopefully, when a little bit of dirt happens here, you should see that it ships on up over there. Come on, Pips. Poop. I know you want to. Oh, wait a minute. I think maybe this is, maybe there's some here. Okay, so tofu takes nosh beans and a little bit of water. We should have plenty of both of those. But the thing is, tofu is what? Plus two quality standard? Mm, not so great. Gristleberry uh, is actually useful because we feed it to other critters, not necessarily to our duplicates. Cooked fish is great. We can go ahead and make plenty of that. Might as well just make it forever. There you go. And barbecue? Yes, definitely. So what this means is that for the very first time here, we want to connect something to our automated storage retrieval system. So that is going to be this spot right there. Boom. And this one is going to move cooking ingredients. 
So, nosh beans, palmero berry, pinch of pepper nut. Maybe we can skip on the nosh bean for right now. And then, if I look under edible, right down here, we'll also want to move some of that as well. Not all of it, though. Just meat. Mm, let's see here. What else? And then here, we're just going to go ahead and click all. There we go. We can move that stuff and start shipping it away. Which means we should also be able to pick up the food. And if we wanted to, we could actually sweep it up. Or we could just leave the food right here. But then you'd have to go outside to get it. So now we actually want to be able to have a better way of getting our food. Hmm. So what we really need is a refrigerator that we can load up. Let's take a look at our gas range real quick. Ooh, pepper bread. And that takes sleet wheat grain. We don't have sleet wheat up and running yet. Spicy tofu takes tofu, so we actually do need to make some tofu. We can actually go ahead and make a bunch of tofu then. How about 99 of them? Boom! And we will ship the cooking ingredients for tofu. Nosh beans, there you go. And that means we need to unselect all of this stuff. There we go, there's all of our cooking ingredients. Let's go ahead and sweep that stuff up real quick. All right, so there we have it. We have meat, we've got nosh beans, we're ready to go. Surf and turf, yes, absolutely. Mushroom wrap, if we can do it, we will do it. Lettuce is one thing I'm not I'm not growing yet. But there is some new a new mod that actually makes that a little bit easier to do. Where we can make salt water. So I think that'd be a fun thing to explore. <laughs> is this thing doing what I think it's doing? Yes. Yes it is. Hold up. If I do that to that, then hopefully it won't take out of here and put it in there. <laughs> There you go, there's a little bit of tofu. Delivered. Now, I, I, I gotta make sure that that's like a five. And that's a six, we should have this. Ha, yes, now it's delivered. So it went from here down to there, perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, how do I want to do this? Right now, everything's shipping into the same spot. That's okay. However, you know, there's a chance you're gonna get polluted dirt coming in the same spot. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm seeing here. It's not necessarily saying that food is going bad. However, I don't really want to have polluted dirt or anything nasty right there. So I think what I need to do here is actually just make use of that conveyor filter real quick. Or you know what? Maybe I don't need to do that at all. I just noticed that this arm here can reach up to that automatic dispenser. Does that mean it keeps running back and forth though? Okay, never mind. I do need this. Okay, that should be all set up and ready to go. Oh, it needs a little power. All right, so that shipping rail is doing its thing. Excellent. So now if we get any sort of organics or polluted dirts or whatever, they just go right on over here. I'm just gonna go down here <laughs> real quick and <laughs> tell them to clear any of that bad stuff out. Oh, hang on, let's just, uh, let's just sweep anything, not everything, just any of that bad stuff. So that'd be organics, liquefiable or organics. Oh, as you can see, we don't even have any there. Perfect. All right, so when we take a little bit closer look here, we can see that the temperature of the electric grill is increasing. It's up to 49 degrees. So it won't be too long before that thing actually melts itself. So like I've done previously, one possible solution is to kind of build some drywall in the background and then dip it in liquid. That usually helps. However, there is a new mod out that actually allows us to couple certain things like liquid pipes and whatnot to equipment without the use of gas or liquid. And I think that's kind of an interesting thing, so I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, so the mod I'm looking at here is the thermal interface plate. So what it does is it adds kind of a background tile that's a bit like your wallpaper or drywall. And essentially this allows you to transfer thermal energy between certain things like gas pipes, power wires, transit tubes, and other buildings and whatnot. And you can see that it doesn't transfer between duplicates, critters, debris, plants. Uh, items on the conveyor rails and whatnot. So, so that seems like a cool little mod and I'm gonna give it a try. So if I use this mod correctly, I should be able to keep this electric grill nice and cool uh, without the need of putting some sort of tile and liquid droppiness behind it. Hmm. <laughs> so here it is, the thermal interface plate. How interesting. I love the description. With eyes glazed over from proposals such as heat pipes and vapor chambers, one duplicate had the bright idea of simply welding this piece of scrap metal between the buildings to transfer heat. Beautiful, I love it. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. All I'm going to do is stick this right back here. Boom, behind it, 
Take care of that. Boom, behind it, take care of that. Boom, behind that one too. Problem solved. However, I do need to run something back there to keep it cool. So what can we keep it cool with? What do we have flowing around that could take that heat away? Mm, the gas, no. Liquid, Ooh, technically, we could probably do something with that. That might actually work. But it would have to run in order for it to do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Here's what we do. We combine multiple mods together. Oh, yes. And we make ourselves a radiator. Raid. You. Radiator over here. Eh, let's go ahead and try to put it right here. Let's see what happens. And how about we pump some petroleum into it? I seem to have quite a bit of it right here. It will freeze at negative 57 degrees, and it's got plenty of range, so that should do it. Oh, should we combine an, another mod with it? Let's try that. Filter liquid pump right down here. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's going on down here? Look at all this. Dupes, you're making a mess over here. All right, so if I take some golden pipe right here, we just run that, that spot, and that spot, and that spot, and we just make a little loop out of it. Then we should be able to go in here like this, go down to this one, go down to that, right back up over here, boom, problem solved. That is, once we seed it with enough liquid to work. Filtered gas pump, the filtered liquid pump, there we go. And this is gonna be temporary, and then we're going to plug that in, which we should have power right there. Ha! All right, how's our food situation doing up here? Well, we got lots of it just laying on the ground. We also have anti-gel down here. Let's take a look at that liquid real quick. Ooh, that can go even colder. Maybe that's what I use instead of the, the petroleum up here. I think either will be just fine. So there we go. We're just gonna pump it from right there. All right, liquid, are you doing your thing yet? No. Oops. Come on now, build it. All right, so I'm kind of surprised that the game is not telling me that I have some unrefrigerated food because I do have unrefrigerated food right here. Which kind of has me concerned that I might have more unrefrigerated food that I don't know about. And it's just deciding not to tell me. Hmm. <laughs> pipe blocked. Okay, why is the pipe blocked? Nope. I want to see this little piece of equipment work. I mean, that thing will be super handy. It'd make keeping things cool. You know, in some of these spots where things just tend to overheat, so much easier. I'm looking at you, huge battery, who happens to be 174 degrees Celsius. <sighs> How's this working out over here? Mm, don't see anything there. We do have a fair amount of floral filaments. I'm not seeing any nectar, though. Why am I not seeing any nectar? Maybe I am not feeding them the right stuff. There you go, dupes. In case you didn't have enough to do, let's sweep all this up. Oh, found it. I see. All right, so here's some more good news. Check this out. We got a bunch of robo slickers. You guys were asking about how hot does this steel come out. Mm, I'm trying to observe some poop here. Just to let you guys know. I'm guessing it's going to come out at the exact same temperature that the... the... larva is tends to be how it works. Oh yeah, you know what? I don't have any sort of auto shipping thing set up here. Uh-oh. <gasps> Slickers! All right, so here's another thing that we can automate here. We've got this guy that we can build right down there. We can ship coal and lumber straight on down. So long as I can actually fit a receptacle down there, which I hope I can. Yes, I can. So that should be able to go right down there. Boom. So we don't have to deliver to this anymore. We can just keep using these wood burners. You can see that I think we're out of power, believe it or not. Oop, we can see this liquid moving around. <laughs> it's, it's definitely all the wrong stuff, but it is dropping the temperature of the electric grill there. Haha! -ha! Okay, it's working, sort of. All right, so I've made some adjustments to this gas pump. It'll run a little bit more. Let's see if we can get that natural gas out of there. Good deal. Interesting, I figured out how to turn the radiator off. If I take some wallpaper and I put it back here, that will actually turn it off. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Okay, so if I wanted to automate a refrigerator, here's what I could do. If I go like this, and I put it, let's say, in a spot. It doesn't, it doesn't necessarily matter where. So here's my refrigerator. If this thing is full, it'll send out a true signal, which I can then use to enable a conveyor loader to ship out. 
So I can put a certain type of food in one of these and cause it to ship out. That would then deliver the food to the refrigerator, which is good. However, it may have extra on the line, which I wouldn't want. So if this has a priority of six, right, it would load into this thing. And then if the uh, conveyor loader, one like this was set up with a lower priority and we had a receptacle right here. So essentially, if this was four, this was six, and this is five, then a um, an auto sweeper should go and take it out of this receptacle, put it into the refrigerator, and then whatever is left over should go from here to there. But it should not take it from the refrigerator into here. And at this point, this would return back down into our storage down here. So we always have the right amount of food inside of the refrigerator. And that way we don't leave extra on the line, which could be exposed to oxygen, which would make it go bad over time. So I think that's how I can set up an automated refrigerator. The real question is where, where do I want to do it? Have we completed all of our research? If we have, then that's a perfect spot. Yes, good job, Meep. Goodbye, virtual planetarium. It's been nice having you here, but we no longer need you. And supercomputer, goodbye. It's time for an automated refrigerator system. A vending machine, a real legit vending machine. I've never actually done this before. This is cool. All right, so let's try to set this up as I would want it. Okay, so let's try to set this up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ooh, an ice box. Remember, that has a storage capacity of 5.2 tons stored, overheat temperature of 75. Um, technically that thing does not have power requirement. Let's build the ice box. I have no idea what this thing is. It might actually legitimately be a vending machine. Yeah, it has no power input. Huh. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. Isn't that the same thing we see down here in the... Yes, there it is. This thing. Okay, so what happens if we put something inside of here? A little bit of barbecue. Priority seven. Maybe we lower this down to a lower, lower number. Maybe a hundred. Is anybody going to deliver to it? Yes, Mahong's going to deliver to it. Dude, if this can store food without food going bad, ooh, that would be cool. Mahong, there you go. Heh. <laughs> Change per cycle, 0%. Oh, oh, yes, the icebox. Well, okay. I haven't made a real legitimate. Okay, that's amazing. That's amazing, all right? Download this right now, people. Icebox. Fantastic. Just saying. Alluvian, I'm sorry. I tried, but you're just going to have to eat on the ground. What is this room? Why is this room nothing? Oh, that's because a duplicate was, um, my bad. <clears throat> Here, we'll give some other spots for dupes to eat. <laughs> They're not quite the nicest places to eat, but you know what? Hey, it's better to eat somewhere than nowhere, right? Um, boogies? Where are you going with that barbecue dude? Dude is just taking it with him. Mm -mm -mm. Did you really come all the way up here just to go over here, boogies? Is that how wasteful you are, Boogies? Yeah. All right, Boogies. Hey, how's these popped eardrums working out? No, we're okay. We're okay. That airflow tile thing worked out good. Thank you guys for that recommendation. Problem solved. See, Rex, isn't this a nice place to come and eat? Look at that. We get to splash around in a puddle. <laughs> That's right, dupes. The lead water coolers are back in business. Uh-oh, we're out of power. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I feel like I'm just building ladders everywhere all the time. Like, that's all I ever get to do in this map. Oh, and by the way, what are we doing over here? We don't need this. We don't need this. I mean, it's cool, but dude, we've got something way better. An ice box. So now I can put the things that we actually eat, right? Cooked fish, barbecue up there. We can set it to a nice high, like 2000, right? That was uh, 200. There we go. Okay, so if we go with the same sort of automation here, I want to have the conveyor receptacle so that we can actually take the food out. Okay, so the food return line, that's just going to be right here because it's right next to the line that's already heading down there, so problem solved. The receptacle for our food will be right here. And then I'm going to use an automated signal to kind of run a wire down to the loader down here. 
So that's going to be the one that brings the food up. We'll use a wireless signal emitter. And that will go right up there, which means we do have to power that up. So there is some cost to running all of this. It is not completely free. We just don't have to, you know, run a refrigerator. But then again, when have we ever run a refrigerator? It's never running. We've never had to go catch it. Okay, so receptacle is going to be right there, which means the food. This seems like a great spot for it. We'll just go straight on up over here. Nope. Not like that. Jump over. And then jump right in there. Boom. Let's talk about consumables that we actually consume. Um, we should not be eating meat. Okay, meat is not on the menu. Pickled meal. We don't need pickled meal. Nutrient bar. No. If you ever get some muck, we might as well eat it. Bristle berries. We don't need bristle berries. We're going to cook that into higher tier stuff. Same with lice loaf. Mmm, gristle berries. I think we're actually going to cook gristle berries into something else as well. Fried mushrooms, we can eat those. If we have spicy tofu, yeah, we'll go for it. But here's where you want to sort by morale and not allow everybody to eat everything. Okay, so after thinking through this a little bit more here, I'm not going to be eating tofu. I'm actually going to be making that into spicy tofu. We get a small bump in the amount of calories, so I think it's definitely good to kind of cook that up as much as possible. And then maybe some of those duplicates that were eating the tofu can actually eat the barbecue, which then boosts up their morale. Some of the duplicates that would otherwise be eating barbecue might be able to eat spicy tofu now, like me, who happens to have a fairly high morale of 28. Although, as you can see right here, um, nobody's stressed. Not at all. Ever since we put in all of this madness up here. Which I guess means I could just skill them up even higher if I really wanted to. Okay, so now I have this little temperature shift thing behind the auto sweeper here, and that seems to be doing all right. Mm, yes, it is slowly going down. I mean, these temperatures are all over the place, but whatever. I limited what this thing was shipping rather than all edible to just the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So things should be cooking up, which means I should have some higher tier foods. Yes. You can see right here we have a decent amount of meat, a good amount of barbecues, surf and turf. Spicy tofu, yes. Good, good stuff. All right. Now, let's take a look at my space farms. <laughs> They're not doing too good. The pressure has been halted. Why has the pressure been halted? Because, because I don't have enough carbon dioxide. Can any of these run on a different gas? You can run on oxygen. Well, then welcome to oxygen. You can have all the oxygen you want. What about you, dust caps? I don't think you can live on oxygen. You need carbon dioxide. Yeah. And you need slime, which is something uh, we've dug up a few times. I don't know if we have a ton of it left, though. Oh my gosh, look at all the hatches we have over here. Look at all these eggs. <laughs> oh no. All right, how are these guys doing? Ooh, they're up to 16. Nice. The only thing missing inside of there is a little bit of a shipping unit, just like this. Oh, which means we probably need one of those temperature things. Hmm. Well, maybe it doesn't run that much, and therefore it won't explode. Hmm. Or maybe it does. I don't know. The other one down there didn't really explode, so... Alright, so how's our vending machine doing? Hmm? 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 Okay, so... Okay, so inside of here we want to have barbecue, definitely. Cooked fish. Paku filet. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think all of it and then I just control whatever it is I ship to it. Except for cooking ingredients, we don't need that stuff. Okay, food is going to happen on signal 20. So then I need to have an emitter down here that is going to hook up to the food line. So the food line is this one. So then I can connect to that, to that, and run some power to it. Now, it's really important to go over here to my consumables, take a look at what we actually want to eat. But for right now, we're going to be bringing into our vending machine cooked fish, barbecue, omelets, frost bun, paku filet, and fried mushrooms. All of those are able to be swept up into here. So that means I want to make this one priority level four so that we kind of prioritize mm, feeding the dupes more than we say feeding these machines over here on the left. Okay, so that's telling me it's not full. Therefore, the signal should be good. Here comes some barbecue rolling by. So it should end up right over here. This is priority level four. 
This is five. Technically, this should be three. Okay, so this is priority level three. This is five, and this is four. So, by the time this barbecue ends up here, right now it's sitting inside of there. And that's because this is set to sweep only. So if I disallow sweep only, then that will be filled by the machine. Aha! Which means we have some barbecue in there, and well, my boobs are already going to go ahead and run around and eat that. Man, that was quick. So what this means is I can set this to a priority one, set this to a priority level three, and this to a priority level of two. So even though the dupes would normally go run around and maybe supply to this, it's going to be their lowest priority. So let's take a look here. Here comes some more food. Here comes some more food. Eh, there we go. So yes, that is actually working. So this will run until we hit a maximum up here. I'm currently storing 21 of 2000. So maybe we set this to like 200 or something. But yep, yeah, there's some barbecue. Boom. Huh, that's cool. Okay, another thing that I'm hooking up here is the conveyor loader. So that has all of this stuff. And that should be able to uh, empty all of that stuff into the wood burners and whatnot. So that stuff stays fired up. Bunch of coal. So the only thing that I think that would make this better is if I were to actually have some chlorine or something in there. Because right now the germs, uh, they don't get killed off. So if there is some germs down here, they will kind of remain. Not only that, the gas range and whatnot seems like it is a little bit germy because they're... There's germs on the suits when they go to where, um, run them, which I didn't think of. So let's see if we can go ahead and try to kill those germs off. This is a good opportunity for a machine I barely ever use, the hand sanitizer. Boom, let's build one up right here, which means I think we gotta get rid of this little sculpture, dude. Sorry. Ah, there we go, it's a little bit of bleach stone. Boom, that should take care of them. Okay, set that to a priority level of one. Come on now, you should take it out of here and put it in there. Needs lumber, what do you have? Coal, oh, that's why. Oh, but hey, here's where I got another piece of equipment that works great, the storage pod. We can go ahead and just build up a couple of these. Ah, we got a, we got a modded piece of equipment for every need, don't we? It's fantastic. What do we got up here? How's this thing doing? Oh, it's doing all right. We're at 53 of 200 kilograms. Hmm, interesting. See, now let's take a look at the germs. Perfect, hand sanitizer, nice and clean. Set that to right only, we're good to go. Okay, one more tweak to get this thing working. That needs to be a not signal. And then it will work. Although my dupes love it, they're just eating everything out of it. What, how'd this pip get in here, dude? Bad pip. Seriously, wrangle this dude. Literally cramping up my style. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? All right, so I'm going to set all of these to different things. There we go, so now we can store a little bit of coal in there. Perfect. Um, store any sort of lumber over here. Bark, which we can also burn, that's stored over here. And then coal over there. So now these things are always fueled up and ready to go. Ha! Perfect, I love it. Hmm, floral filaments seems to get in here and jam things up. It's kind of a bummer. So let's not ship any of those. Cooking ingredient. Yeah, all right, good. What, how is there another pip here? Seriously, <laughs> come on now. I have no idea. All right, so this thing's pretty cool in that it is storing a good amount of food. My dupes don't have to run outside into space every time to get food, so that means I can go ahead and deconstruct all of this nonsense out here. We don't need it anymore. That's gonna be nice. And we can sweep it up too, so we can move our food around. Ah, real good. I suppose the only thing we don't have set up is we don't have a sink in front of the ice box. I didn't think of that one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But we do have one here. So, I mean, so I guess it can't be helped. We're going to have to move this ice box from here to right there. And then, because we're kind of lucky, this sink can go right here and right there. Ha. Take that. But now my dupes aren't going to have fabulous hair all the time. Hmm, that's a bummer. Uh-oh, looks like I have a lot more overheating. <laughs> well, I'm glad I, I installed this mod. It's making a world of difference now. All right, so it's time for another duplicant. Hmm, <laughs> All right, Radar, welcome to the base. And thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. So that brings us up to a total of 23 duplicants. Hmm, 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 where are you going to sleep this time? Once we deconstruct all of this, right on over here, 
then I should be able to expand this bedroom just a little bit. And we can fit in another comfy bed right there. Oh, and I'm also installing a little bit of conveyor loaders and whatnot for these guys. And I suppose I should try to do it for the Robo Slicksters, but it's 300 degrees in there. I, I don't, I can't even put something in there. It's too hot. I guess technically I could cool it down a little bit, but I don't know. There's only so much you can do. I could just go to space. Now, just to finish up this bedroom real quick. There you go, dupes. Boogies, that's dangerous. You might want to get off that. Well, it's going to happen. There you go. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna fix all of this. There we go. Very quickly sweep up all of this stuff and try to convert this to tiles if possible. All right, so there we have it. A couple more bedrooms there for the meep room. As far as today, you know what? I think it went pretty well. This ice box is awesome. Definitely recommend that. And we did get this kitchen set up here in space. It did have a couple of challenges and it has a lot to do with the heat. Same thing with all of these uh, loaders and everything. <laughs> you kind of have to be careful there as far as the heat is concerned. But luckily that mod that we were able to install there really allows us to take care of some of that thermal energy that's running around in the background here. It does output a decent amount of heat though. So running it through a radiator seems to be working thus far. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. As always, stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out. Ooh, barbecue! A mm. little bit more. Did you just eat my barbecue hatch? Dude.